Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The federal court's actions came amid nationwide protests against a ban seen by many as an affront to Muslims. Imam Muhammad Kuja and Mohammed Kamil Jifri represent the Masjid Al Nur Mosque in Mangilao. It's a path to the right direction to stop what he's doing because even though he's targeting seven countries, it leaks over to other countries that are not on the list. You can't brand all Muslims and Islam as bad people. Even in USA, there are about 8 million Muslims. Seven countries multiplied by millions of people. You're talking about a lot of people who are discriminated against just because one person did something wrong. But the Trump administration argues that the ban is meant to be temporary so it can get a better handle on travelers from countries it says are known for terrorists and pose a danger to the U.S. homeland. But Kuja fears this move could be the first step toward more drastic measures. The seven countries become 10 and 20 and 30 and the 90 days become the year, two year, 10 year and it becomes a permanent thing and people forget about it and it becomes part, uh, part, uh, part of a law. So then, then what do we do? Jeffrey says local officials have already reached out, saying legal help is available for any Guam Muslims who might be affected. Recently I got a call from the legislature saying that anybody involved in the airport, if they are stopped, please let us know. There are three lawyers waiting for. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lecanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.